Hi Creepies, Reanimator here coming at you with another YouTube video. Uh, this video goes with our web series, So You Wanna Be a Streamer, Content Creation 101. So now you decided you want to be a streamer, you've got your computer set up, you've got your Xbox and Light stream all set up and you're ready to go. Awesome! Now you want some fancy alerts and cool little toys to play with on your overlay for your peeps to see. That's great. That is great. We are going to get going with four different websites that I personally use. The first one is going to be Streamlabs. You are going to go to streamlabs.com and when you go to that website, you are going to log in with your Mixer, YouTube, or Twitch account. When you log in, it'll auto off. You'll give it permissions to your Mixer, YouTube, or Twitch. Once you're inside there, you have several options. You have an alert box where you can customize what alerts you want, the images that you want, the sounds that you want. You have full control here, color of the fonts, the type of fonts, the size of the font. You've got full custom control when you go to this alert box. Now you also have what's called widgets. Widgets are really cool. You see the tip jar that I have in my stream or when I have a, a donation, a tip goal, it's not a donation, um, a tip goal, um, a ticker, uh, the spin wheel that I use when people drop embers or a tip. That is all in the all widget section. Uh, all of this is going to be based on your broadcasting software. If you are using Lightstream, you're going to go into your third party uh, apps. If you are using um, XSplit, OBS, or Slobs, uh, you're going to put the link into your web browser or browser source, whatever your uh, broadcasting software calls it. Uh, the alert box and the all widgets are all uh, links, URLs, to your content that you are going to put into your broadcasting software. Now, Streamlabs offers several other things, uh, a website, a cloud bot if you don't want to use a bot like uh, Mix It Up Bot or Firebot or Scorebot, you can use Cloudbot. It's all set up within Streamlabs. Uh, you have some control over what is done in Cloudbot. Now, if you use Slobs, you have a theme library. Some of these themes are premium and some of them are free. Uh, you can use them if you'd like, so if you want something fancy and you just don't want to create it yourself, you can definitely go into here and use those. Uh, if you want something a little above par, then you can actually pay for premium uh, overlays and stuff. I, I, I don't suggest going off the bat and buying things right away. I personally like a sleek, clean view, so in my stream you're not going to see a lot of fancy stuff. You're going to see more game and more me over alerts and um, overlays and stuff to each their own. And I will tell you now, you will constantly be upgrading that and changing it. So, you know, start off with the free stuff. Check it out if you want. Learn how to make it yourself. It is pretty easy. Uh, there is a website called photopia.com. I'll put that link down below in the description. Um, it, is a, it is very similar to Photoshop, but it's free. It is a great resource. It is what I use to create all of my stuff, my stream loots, cards, everything. Um, so now you got your stream labs. You've got uh, different things for different sections. You've got test your follows, subscriptions, resubs, donations, all of that fun stuff. And you can uncheck what you want to show on your stream and what you don't want to show. Now, if you are a restreamer and you want to stream on Twitch, Mixer, and YouTube, you can integrate everything into one. Now, I do stream uh, live content to Twitch and live content to uh, YouTube, but usually at different times. Uh, so I do have my account integrated so that when someone follows me over on Twitch, I'll get a notification whether or not if I'm live over there. If I'm on YouTube, uh, I will get a notification as well. Even if I'm not live on YouTube and I'm streaming on Mixer, I'll get a notification. But what I have done to separate those two other platforms is... When someone subscribes to me on YouTube, that is a follow. And I have that pop up as thank you for the subscribe over on YouTube. So we know that that subscribe is a follow when it came from YouTube. And I can thank that person. Same thing for the Twitch side of things. So I do have my stuff set up to where I can distinguish what's Twitch, what's Mixer, and what's YouTube. You can add tons of awesome stuff to Streamlabs. You can even pay for premium, which is their Streamlabs Prime. 
I believe it's like $13 a month Canadian. Uh, that gives you a lot of other stuff that you can do as well. If you're not ready to spend any money, don't do it. Use all the free stuff. There's nothing wrong with using free stuff. Oh, we're also going to go over one more website called Streamlooks. This is another thing that I use. So I said four, but we're actually going to go over five websites today. Um, the next website that I use is Pixel Chat. Uh, you ever see those fancy, cool little pixel gifs that I do in my stream? Or uh, when you see people use emotes in the chat, you see them pop up on my stream. Or that really snazzy social media pop up. That is all Pixel Chat. Uh, pixel Chat is created by AC Pixel. A uh, really awesome person on Mixer. This is only for Mixer, guys. You cannot use this, unfortunately, for any other platform. Um, AC Pixel has a Discord, a Discord called Pixel Chat. You are more than welcome to join it. You can get support there. You can, you know, do suggestions to Pixel. Um, I did a couple suggestions, and we've got them. Uh, so uh, Pixel Chat has a premium service as well. It's really affordable, and I suggest checking it out. It, uh, he has on that site, on Pixel Chat, you can use credits, uh, social media pop-up, uh, emo chat, closed captioning, so many other things, follows, hosts, subscribes, feature alerts if you're a partner on Mixer and you get featured. There is tons of goodies inside this website that you can use. Again, this will be a browser source or a web page in your broadcasting software. If you are using Lightstream, this would be in your third party. Um, I highly suggest checking it out and using it. Uh, the closed captioning is one of the best captionings I have used out there. I have used several closed captionings. They all have their little issues with certain words. Um, but I found Pixel Chat to be better. I have less uh, mistakes when talking with Pixel Chat. I highly suggest check it out, test it out, see what's best for you. Uh, Pixel has, again, a Discord where you can get help and suggestions. They have credit. I use uh, my credits is done through Firebot. It's a bot that I use, and uh, it's a custom script done by Platypus Muerte. Shout out! Uh, Platypus makes amazing custom script for Firebot. Firebot we will discuss in our third video. Uh, but yeah, so you can check it out. Uh, Streamlabs also has credits. I personally don't care for Streamlabs credits. It's my own opinion. Try them out. Uh, Pixel Chat has them as well. I have not tried Pixels yet. So I cannot give you a review on that. Uh, but I do use Firebot. I really love the custom controls I have over my uh, credits. Now I, I have used the emote chat. I still currently use it. It's pretty friggin awesome. You have full customization control over that as well. Uh, I use the uh, shout out overlay which is fully customizable, the pixel give and the closed captioning. All of these items that are on pixels on pixel chat you are able to customize color, font, uh, uh, delay everything so check it out again all the information will be down below for you to peruse and check out for yourself uh, the next website that I always get asked about is my little zombie the zom that I have in my stream when people come in and follow she says hi or if we do exclamation point eat she'll eat a brain a brain will drop from the sky and she'll gobble that up that is Kapamon now if you have light stream unfortunately this is not available for you so you will have to use it with Slobs, OBS, or XSplit. Uh, they do have some free creatures that you can use, or you can pay for Kappa Coins and buy yourself a beautiful little creature from their store. I started out with a free one, and then once I realized that I really enjoy it and I want to commit to it, I actually bought coins. Now they have several cool little uh, creatures that you can use that fit your theme. I could either use the Grim Reaper, or I can use the zombie, but I am a zombie fan and a horror fan, so I chose the zombie and I named her the Zom. You can have custom commands with the Zom as well. If you play music in your stream, you connect it, uh, she'll dance. And these are commands that you can put in your stream and your, your peeps can hang out and play with the Zom or whichever creature you choose to pick. It's really cool. It's self-explanatory. Again, this is a browser source or a web page that's going to go into your uh, XSplit or OBS or Slob. Uh, it's, it's free to use. Uh, the only things that do cost money are uh, the actual creatures, but they do have a couple of free ones like the Mixer Bot and the Cat. So check it out. See what you like. If you think you love it, then commit to it and buy some Cap Coins. Support them. I'm always down for supporting, uh, especially if they give you cool stuff to do. So why not support it? If you can afford it, why not support it? Uh, they do Twitch. 
I do not believe they do YouTube. I haven't checked into that. Unfortunately, you cannot use your mixer, uh, your mixer Capamon with Twitch. You would have to have another account. That's for right now. Um, the next account that we're going to go over is uh, website is Tweet Alert. I know if you've been in my stream, you've seen a tweet pop up with the person's name and the tweet that they did. That is all done through Tweet Alerts. Tweet Alerts is a free uh, website that you can go and customize from text, the color, uh, how you want it to tag you. So if someone uses, for example, tags me, my Twitter at reanimateher underscore, and uses the hashtag rawhorde, it'll pop up on my Twitter. They have to tag your name or whatever you have put in there to have it alert up on your stream. This is through another browser source or web page. It is free. You do have to auth it to your Twitter though. So you must have Twitter. Uh, you can set up the durations, the times, the colors, uh, what it shows on your stream. So if you have it just tagging you, so anybody, so anything that gets tagged with your Twitter handle will pop up on the stream. So you know those follow shout out things that happen, you get tagged and that will show up as well. You can also put in there hashtags that you want or other at that you want it to alert to on your Twitter. It's really cool. It's uh, Tweet Alerts. Again, it'll be down below. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory and uh, it's free. You want to use it? Check it out. Uh, there is also now Streamloots. Uh, you can use this. If you're in my stream, you see Streamloots happen every day, a couple of times a day. This is a great place for you to have interaction on your site. Now, so far from my understanding, it's Twitch and Mixer. Not 100% sure about YouTube or if it's coming to YouTube. But uh, Streamlits is so much fun. You can become an affiliate with them if you are a content creator and a partner with them or just a streamer. Now, these are cards that you customize yourself. They do have default cards in there and a ton of default frames and cards for you to already use. You don't have to customize your own ones just yet. If you have no idea what you want to do, but you want to start using it, definitely dive right into it. This is again based on a web browser. You can also connect this to your Mix It Up bot. Now, I do not believe Stream uh, Loot is available to Lightstream. Unfortunately, I think it's another one that's not compatible yet. Doesn't mean it's not going to be, but I would definitely check that out with Stream Loot. Now you can set up your pricing on Streamlits. You can set up your cards and uh, different things that you want. For example, in my Streamlits, I have different collections. I have a Friday the 13th collection, which has cards that pick my tune. I can't play as my favorite character, Chad. That one gets used a lot. Um, you can have uh, not play as Jason for a round. You can get really creative with these things. I also have a horror collection where it's, uh, I have cosplay, where I will be a bloody pinup, or I would do cosplay from, de um, cosplay from death from Neil Gaiman's comic or a graphic novel. Uh, you can also have horror gifts in there and videos. I create these crazy videos using snap camera and I use them as my cards. I also create, and Regal Once or 13, shout out to your girl. Uh, she has been making me some really amazing frames for stream loops. Uh, uh, Death Lily, another shout out for that amazing chick over on Mixer. She created my current frames. I do like to switch things up. Uh, so I have different collections, have different cards in them, that have different things that happen to them. Uh, I do have my regular co collection that has a mystery box that, gets that goes with my spin wheel in my stream. Uh, you can get really creative. I have one where I'm one-handed gameplay. I have another one that's picks my Dead by Daylight characters or I can't use add-ons or perks for my character or my killer. Get creative, uh, look at my collection, look at other streamers' collections, get an idea or a taste of what you want to do with them. Uh, again, this is a free source to you, a free source to you. Uh, check it out. They do uh, spotlight streamers on their front page of their website. Uh, you can... Um, control the pricing of your chest. You can do creative custom chests or you can use the ones they currently have on their site. Uh, you can gift chests. That's a really cool option. Uh, gifting chests is something that I do to my subs. So when they sub to my channel, I give them a chest every month as well as chests for giveaways. Uh, you can go in and do what you like. 
Uh, now, depending on what you are, if you are an affiliate with them or a partner with them, you do make money on this. This is something that can give you a separate income. Um, so depending on what you want and how you want to do it, uh, read their site, see what their rules and regulations are. If you become an affiliate, you get X amount of uh, chests that are purchased. And as well, if you are a partner, you get X amount of a percentage of what is purchased. This again gets paid through PayPal. Um, and they are very helpful. They as well have a Twitter and a Discord for you to go into if you need support. I highly suggest looking into both of those. Um, these are the items that I currently use. Uh, there are tons of other things out there like loots and uh, stream gifts and other fun stuff you can use for your stream. But these are the ones that I currently use. We will get into some other things like treat stream and stream gifts in another video that will be down the road. Um, I wanted to get out some of the really cool interactive stuff that your people can do, your community can do, and interactiveness for me is 110% in my stream, and Streamloots gives me that option, so I think it's really awesome. In our next video, I will go over bots, and a couple of bots that I currently use is Mix It Up Bot and Firebot. Yes, I do use two bots because Firebot offers me some things that Mix It Up does not offer me, so I do use two, you don't have to. You can use one if you like, and you can use uh, cloud-based bots like CloudBot or Botismo. If you're on Twitch, you can use Stream Elements, Botismo, Nightbot. Oh, Nightbot is also on Mixer as well, which is another cool cloud-based bot web browser, so it doesn't have to be running. But we're going to go into that in our third video, bots and what should you use. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you slash that subscribe button. You give that like button a slappy slap and put down a comment below if you liked what I said today. If you enjoy my content, please do so. Um, if you enjoy what you've seen or you have any comments or tips or anything on your own, please make sure you comment them down below. If there is a site or a program you want to hear about, you want to hear my thoughts or my reviews on, down below in the comments um, or in my discord however you would like to contact me if you have any questions on how to use any of these they each have their own discord as well as you have me you can always contact me and ask me I hope you found this video enjoyable and information chuck full of information I hope you found it informative thank you for watching I am reanimator I will slash you all later bye bye